In this video, we're going to talk about beekeeping startup costs, doing a real personal value assessment, and what you can expect to spend in your first year. Hi, I'm Scott McPherson, and this is Beekeeping from Scratch, where it's about the bees. Hey there, beekeepers. Welcome to Beekeeping from Scratch, the channel where we are building our operation back up from scratch to profitability and doing it together with you. Now, if we haven't met yet, my name is Scott McPherson, and this is the first installment of the show, Be Money, where we talk about the economics of beekeeping, starting cost, products, profits, and the value of your time. Now, if you like watching beekeeping from scratch videos, please let me ask you to subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so that you can be notified of the very next time we upload a new video. Your subscribership and watching the videos all the way to the end helps out the channel by putting these videos in front of other beekeepers and potential bee-minded viewers who might benefit from the material. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Now, before you go and start buying equipment, there's something I want you to do first, and that is to do an assessment of the value of your time. Why? Because you might think that you could save a few dollars by building your own equipment. And when you need a lot of equipment, those few dollars can sure add up. But is it really worth your time? Or the better question is, how valuable is your time? Beekeeping is an investment of both time and money. Whether you invest more time or more money is only a decision that you can make, but you need to be smart about that decision. And you also need to ask yourself, how is this going to affect my family? If you have a full-time job and you're building beekeeping equipment, how much time are you going to have to spend with your family? Now, I personally am in the business of making money, not saving money. And that's an important distinction to make. Saving money where one can obviously make sense. But if you can make more money doing something else than you can save, then you should definitely do that instead. Trying to save money at the cost of making more money is called opportunity cost. That's a real loss. It may not be a loss that flows through your wallet, but it is a loss of potential income that doesn't even get a chance to flow through your wallet. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how much I make at my current profession. However, I could tell you I have a full-size family of five right now. Two of my kids have moved out and three are still at home, and I wanna spend as much time as I can with them. Also, I can make more money so in my case, it not only makes pure fiscal sense to buy pre-assembled gear, but also because I value the family time I have available to me. There is still work involved like painting, but spending an extra $10 for an assembled and complete four-story hive is an absolute no-brainer for me. There is absolutely no way I could save more money trying to save money this way than I can make. And if you're really honest, I don't think anyone can. Can you assemble four hive bodies and 40 frames in an hour? I know I can't. Maybe you can if you're really practiced at it, but I can make a lot more money than that in an hour by doing other things. And listen, you might not think this is the smartest idea, but I even spent $3 per frame to buy pre-assembled and wired frames. Now, buying the frames pre-assembled and wired is expensive. They're almost three times the cost of buying them unassembled. In this case, I may actually be spending more money than I could save. But as I said, I value my time with my family. And I'd rather spend dinner in the evening with them than I would in the basement nailing and wiring frames. I know that, I, I know that could be done quickly, but when you need frames for 26 beehives, well... That's a lot of frames. Now, if you genuinely can save more money by building your own than you could by doing something else and making money, then you definitely should if you have the time to do it. Bottom line is, is only you can make that decision. I just want to make sure that you make the right decision for you. That's it. And the same goes for making beehives from raw materials as it does buying assembled versus pre-assembled. Bee suppliers buy wood by the truckloads and can get it significantly less than you can unless of course you're scrapping from construction sites but even going around collecting lumber still takes time and unless you already have them you can add the cost of table saws miter or chop saws dado blades and the like now to make things easier you can make simplified hive bodies you do not have to make beehives that have 
box joints. If you have a good miter or chop saw that can cut at good right angles, then you can just go ahead and make a butt joint. However, unless you are a decently skilled craftsman, I would stay away from trying to make frames. The tolerances are just too tight for your average home builder. Okay, at this point, I really wanted to talk about my startup costs, and I actually put together, you know, how much I've spent so far. However, things have changed a little. When I started out this beekeeping venture, I had really planned on my building back up into a commercial business to be a three-year plan. I wanted to start off with a few nukes going into winter with a number, knowing that some of them, even a great deal of them, were going to die off and rebuild back from the survivors and build the numbers over a period of three years. However, what I wasn't expecting to happen was getting laid off from my job because the company was downsizing in response to current events to protect their assets. Because of that, my three-year plan has been accelerated a little bit. Where I am at my point in my career as an IT project manager it makes it likely that it's that it will take a long time for me to find another job. With the unemployment rates as high as they are, and with the amount of competition there is for the available jobs, I may even have difficulty finding a job by next year. And that also explains why I'm wearing a sweatshirt today, uh, because when I found out that I was getting laid off, I quickly turned down the heat uh, just a little bit to save a few dollars. So at any rate, at this point, I now kind of have two options. I can save everything I have and hope that I'm able to find another job, at which point I may just burn all of that money just paying bills. And on the other hand, I could double down on the bees, invest a little bit more on the bees so that maybe next year I could actually bring some income in from the bees when I previously wasn't really expecting to do that. As I said, three-year plan. Well, three-year plan is now a one to two-year plan. So that changes things. So what I'm doing now, instead of buying five five-frame nukes, I am buying 12 four frame nukes or six doubles. Additionally, I'm buying the equipment that I need, not just this year, but the equipment that I will need next spring to be able to expand those bees into the equipment. Buy, buy the equipment now that I will need for next spring so that I have the equipment that I need to be able to expand in the following spring. Now, for a lot of you, that may seem a little silly, but again, what I'm trying to do is hedge my bets. What if I can't find another job? Well, I need the ability to be able to make an income at some point, and making that smaller investment now in next year gives me the opportunity to be sure I will already have what I need when I need it in the spring. Hey, just real quickly, and this is probably going to find its way in the middle of the video because I realized that I forgot to record a couple of things here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I told you I was going to be honest and open about everything that I'm doing in the beekeeping operation, and I continue, and I plan on continuing to do that. So nothing's going to be hidden. Um, you know, when I run into the problems, you know, or when I run into problems, you know, uh, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to show you exactly what I do to resolve them, and you know, as I said. Uh, or as I will say in the future, who knows what the future is going to bring us to these days, right? So I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I'm here for you. You know, I'm here for me, but I'm here for you too, right? So that's all I wanted to say. Thanks. Additionally, losing my job gives me the time to, you know, double down on the YouTube videos. And so what I'm going to do from now on is practice time blocking in every morning, Monday through Friday, I'm going to work for two hours looking for new employment. There's only so much time one can spend. There's only so many jobs that pop up as new jobs on a daily basis. And the rest of the morning, for now, is going to be spent on beekeeping. Finally, in the afternoon, I'm going to focus on creating more content for this channel. Try to grow this channel and make it as productive as I can. So that's what I'm doing today to take care of my family 
working hard to, you know, find a new job, but also working on my two side hustles, the bees themselves and the beekeeping channel to hedge my bets because one of those three things has got to work, right? And so that's the latest update. All right, guys, wish me luck. Thanks. And everybody stay healthy and stay safe and stay indoors.